All right, guys, welcome to another Corvette video, and this one should be a lot of fun. So this is a 1976 Chevrolet Corvette, and it is not mine. It's a customer's car, and according to him, he blew up the engine going 120 miles an hour. So we're going to see today, how bad did he blow it up? In reality, this is a, actually a very nice car, and it's done very, very well. It's got the side pipes, it's got the wheelwood brakes, it has the Borgeson steering box, it has the DeWitt's radiator. I mean, done very, very well. A few little imperfections, but you know, what can you expect from a car this old? It's much nicer than what I usually work on, so I will take that as a win. But let's pop the hood and see what we can see. So in the whole time I've been with this car, I've never heard it run or anything like that. But we're going to see how bad it ended up being. I don't know if it's an original engine to the car. We can check that really quick. There's the stamp pad. Ends in 4627. Yep, it's the original 350. So I don't know if he wants to keep that or what he wants to do, but we've got to take it out. That's the main thing that we got to do. There should be a dipstick tube somewhere right here. It's got oil in it, but we don't know if it makes any noise or anything. Oil doesn't really is one sign, but it doesn't really show everything. So before I end up taking this out, because he has a crate blueprint engine that's going in, let's see if we can't get it to at least run and hear what it sounds like. So the battery out of this car is from May of 2019. So we put that on the, the 20 amp rapid charger. But I put the battery in the car from my winch, which is ready to go. So we're gonna turn the key and see what happens. Oh, we get that awful key buzzer. Looks like all the gauges are working. Have half of a tank of fuel. And let's see what, let's turn that off. <laughs> let's turn that off, all right. So this car hasn't been run, I think, in at least, at least, I would say six months, maybe, something like that. It hasn't been too long, but Long enough. We checked the oil. The oil is good. Eldebrock is actually a pretty good car. As long as the, uh, it's like the choke doesn't want to work. All right. Let's see. What happened? Oh! Did you hear it? Did you hear the knock? <laughs> That's pretty bad. All right, it's gonna make some loud noises, okay? Why? Because that's how it's gonna be. car is so loud I can't hear any kind of noise. Hi buddy! Were you drawn by the sound of an engine? Careful, it's hot. They're like moths to a flame. They hear the engine and they come running. What'd you hear? What'd you hear? Hey, noise. Yeah, race car. Race car. What? It is a race car. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a race car. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna rev it. So listen for the knock, okay? You hear that? Yeah. It's knocking. Those are hot. Those are hot pipes. Why are hot pipes? Did you guys hear the knock? When we revved it up, it went no 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 no. You went clunk 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 clunk. Oh yeah, don't touch it. So you can't touch it, dude. Why? What's up the button? So we figured out together the engine does knock. And it knocks pretty bad. No, you can't touch the button, dude. My button. So this is Joshua's first oil change. What do you think, Josh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. We're going to take this plug out, okay? You tell me what color the oil is that comes out, okay? Okay. Let's see. How messed up is this engine? Oh, look! Looks it's it looks pretty good. Oh. I think it's a kind of goldish, right? Yeah, goldish. A little gold, little black. It's not full of glitter. I think it just got over revved. I think that's what happened. So just for your viewing pleasure, I want to take this oil pan off to look at the bottom end. And usually to take the pan off, you have to drop the suspension, or excuse me, the steering from the idler arm. And if you notice, there's no cutter pin in there at all. So that's not good, but anyway, we'll get that dropped, we'll get the pan dropped, and we'll check out underneath and see if we can't find a rod or a main bearing that looks a little different than the rest. Last bolt. Second to last bolt. One more bolt. much metal in the oil pan but everybody heard that knock yep one of these is not like the other Take that, that cap off. <laughs> I want to see what it will do, what it looks like. Just for fun. That was a washer from the torque converter. Nothing fell out of the engine. Okay. I've seen worse, but that's pretty bad. The thing is, see how it moves like this? I don't do it. It's eating away at the crank. 
crank. This crank is just it's super rough. You can feel your fingernail. Toast. If you look at the oil pan closely, you can see all the glitter in the oil. See all that? I'm trying to find a good spot where it doesn't glare. But I mean, it's like brass colored because all that bearing material is in there. Pretty gnarly. There's some pieces of it right there. It's hard to see with the flashlight, but those streaks at the top. That's bearing material too. Toast. All right, so there you go. That's why the engine was knocking. It's because of that connecting rod bearing was just chewed itself up. So don't drive your cars that fast or that high of RPM. But we're gonna get it fixed. We're gonna put a new uh, new engine in it, and it'll probably be twice the engine that this one is. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you stick around for the next one. And maybe if you're lucky, I'll make a video of putting this engine in this car.